The Casebook of Victor Frankenstein is a historical fantasy novel by Peter Aykroyd, intertwining Mary Shelley's fictional characters, Dr. Frankenstein and his creature, with real historical figures like Shelley, her husband Percy Bysshe Shelley, John Keats, and Lord Byron. In this reimagined reality, the creature, initially intended to be a perfect being, turns out to be a grotesque monstrosity driven by base instincts, leading Dr. Frankenstein to abandon it immediately after bringing it to life. This abandonment triggers a series of catastrophic events that reshape Shelley's world into a fantastical, alternative literary history. The novel begins with Swiss doctor Victor Frankenstein, a young medical student, encountering Percy Bysshe Shelley at Oxford. Shelley, a budding romantic poet, shares his vision of creating a perfect being unburdened by societal constraints. Aykroyd's narrative suggests that Shelley proposed using animal electricity, inspired by the work of scientist Signor Galvani, to reanimate a corpse and create the romantic ideal. Aykroyd delves into the historical fascination with resurrectionists and anatomists, portraying Frankenstein's experiments with cerebellar electricity. Frankenstein ultimately selects the corpse of an acquaintance named Jack Keat, named after the poet John Keats, for his experiment. Despite choosing Keats' body for its perceived beauty, the reanimated creature is a hideous and terrifying figure. Disgusted by the results, Frankenstein is horrified by his own creation. The creature, enraged by the life bestowed upon him, blames Frankenstein for his misfortune, a sentiment echoed by Milton and later quoted by Byron at the Villa Diodati. As the creature rampages through the world, the destruction he causes underscores the tragic consequences of Frankenstein's experiment. In Peter Aykroyd's adaptation, Harriet Westbrook, historically known as the educated daughter of a London entrepreneur, is reimagined as a destitute girl from the East End whom Percy Bysshe Shelley rescues from poverty. While historical accounts suggest that Westbrook drowned herself after Shelley left her for Mary Shelley, Aykroyd's narrative takes a darker turn. The creature brutally murders Harriet, clearing the path for Bysshe Shelley to marry Mary Shelley later in the novel. Aykroyd not only delves into the literary figures of the time, but also explores the foundational texts behind Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. He integrates elements of the Jewish golem legend by adapting a Catholic doctor into a Jewish one and references several texts that influenced Shelley during her writing. The novel also connects to the real origin story of Frankenstein, famously conceived during the Year Without a Summer, when Mary Shelley, Percy Shelley, Lord Byron, and others were vacationing at the Villa Diodati. The story emerged from a ghost story competition and became one of the earliest works of science fiction in English literature. The novel is suspenseful and features an abrupt, surprising ending that, while literary in its flourish, has left some critics puzzled by its rapid pace and brevity. Peter Aykroyd, a historian and novelist with a focus on historical London and English history, has penned over a dozen historical novels, numerous biographies, and four volumes of poetry. His works have also been adapted for television. Aykroyd has received notable accolades, including two Whitbread Awards, the Booker Prize for Fiction, the James Tate Black Memorial Prize, and was appointed a Commander of the Most Excellent Order of the British Empire in 2003, among other honors. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe. Thank you.